it's kind of hard to mix creativity and art with, um, you know, your spiritual life. So maybe nobody else has ever dealt with that, but. Uh, no, I'm sure. I, I think that's the point of this the conversation. <laughs> I think like most people run into that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that, you know, art and um, art in general is embracing a certain aspect of mystery. I don't think that a lot of times churches like that grayness because, you know, it pushes people into asking more questions. It doesn't provide, you know, the clarity that they want. And I think a, a majority of that is, is because they're scared if they don't give people the perfect answers, then they're not, they're not doing their job in a way that makes it feel safe and secure. And, yeah. You know, I think being a human, like there's parts of my life that I love to control too. There's parts of my life where I love black and white, black and white and clarity. Um, I think that as being an artist or being someone who is probably more creatively inclined than others, although I believe everybody is creative. Yeah, it's just taught me to understand that, you know, sometimes when you're more open to things and sometimes um, when not everything in your life is incredibly definitive, you can, you know, you can find a better solution. You can find a better way. You can mm. um, see things from other people's perspectives, you know, and I think there's a certain flow to life to where you can embrace a little bit of the mystery and invite that into your life, you know? Um, mm. Yeah. What do you feel like you've been able to accomplish, like, outside of the church that wasn't necessarily working or flowing inside of the church? I mean, in some ways, like, the church has given me a foundational perspective of myself. Um, it's helped bring clarity to who I am and what I do because of that. And maybe this was a stigma that I put on myself. Maybe this was um, something that I've learned from ex some of the experiences that I've had within working in the church. A lot of the places that I worked, you know, there was this kind of sense of like, you know, well, in here you're doing everything for the glory of God, but the things outside of this picture aren't necessarily important. Mm. And I think the things, I think all things run through that filter in life. But I think sometimes it can get a little distorted and skewed when we think that only certain things are meaningful in the context of a certain place. I've struggled with that for a lot of years to where I felt like my value is is created by what I can give to the world. Mm. And, and I think that over the last few years, um, the more I learn about myself, the more I learn about myself through God, the more I understand that you know, I have inherent value that was given to me regardless of what I create. But because totally. of that, you know, I'm able to bring that gift back to the world too. And so I think that's been the freedom for me as far as like reevaluating you work hard, therefore your your like moral value is yeah. this instead of just like as a created being, you have intrinsic value. And yeah. it's hard to just back up and like rest which, in that. Totally. And which makes so much sense to why like you know, if, if our value is in what we do, then there's the potential to actually do something wrong. And so... Totally, and, totally. <laughs> you know, if the yeah. value wasn't in what I do... And God's and, love may be un unconditional, but ours will be conditional <laughs> on how well you're doing or not doing. Yeah, or how safe you make me feel, or how, you know... And the church wasn't, you know, created to make perfect people. The church was created to connect imperfect people with God. Sounds like a tagline. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, you know, yeah, just put that as like the, the hashtag, a really long hashtag. On yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, but, but it's true. And it's given me a greater hope in some ways to, you know, continue to, um, you know, to, to try to understand where people are coming from and to try to understand, you know, what are the things that people have gone through to lead them where they're at, too.